Hey guys, Travis from Solo Custom Archery, and I'm uh, standing here. I have something new to share with you. Um, I have my first ever carbon fiber and foam limb bow. It's a recurve bow made in my adventurous recurve mold, Purple Heart Riser. It actually turned out pretty cool looking. Um, I made this prototype to try it out and put it through the tests and see how it performs. Um, I realized that carbon fiber is not like a brand new product. It's probably been around for 20 years along with synthetic foam. But um, to be honest, it's never really interests me to, uh, to make a bow out of it. Um, I always just, I always had a negative opinion of it. I, I, I'm a traditional guy. So I never really, I like the look of wood and I've never been interested in making carbon limbs. Um, I always just assumed that it was uh, marketing BS, that um, it performs, you know, the, that the bow shoots faster, performs better. Um, so I've always just kind of had a, a closed-minded view of it. And then um, just recently, over the last couple of years, I've just kind of tried to be open, more, more open-minded towards new things um, and a lot of the talk lately what I read and what I listen to a lot of people are you know a lot of people are switching over from compound to traditional and coming from the compound world they're obviously interested in performance so you know more and more people are thinking that you know carbon fiber and foam is the way to go and the only way to go and uh, I thought, well, maybe I should try it out. You know, maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. And it is great performance. Even if it's any performance advantage over wood, hey, why not? Right? We want to do things the best we can. So I do, I'm interested in trying it out. Uh, I'm going to use this bow for a while. It's the off season now, so I could mess around. Um, I'm going to run it through the tests. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chronograph it. Um, this bow is made on my adventurous recurve mold, so it's an exact copy. I have plenty of them just like this out of wood and fiberglass. Um, 55 pounds, I have you know multiple bows that are 55 pounds that I shoot that are the same as this with um, fiberglass and wood, traditional bows. So I can take this, I can test it myself, I can shoot it with the exact same arrow. I could shoot over conograph and see the exact difference in performance. I personally, I've never seen an apples to apples comparison between carbon foam or carbon fiber and foam and wood and fiberglass. Um, that's part of the reason I never believed in it. It's always, uh, it always seems like it's skewed, you know, in a marketing sense when people are talking about it, uh, talking about the great performance of it and stuff. So I am very interested to see. Um, what the actual performance difference is um, in the two exact same bows with just different material limbs. So it'll be interesting. Um, I've shot it already. I, I, I gotta say, I do kind of like it. I mean, I like the feel of it. It does have kind of a, a unique, um, almost a smooth release to it. And, and when you draw it, it feels a little bit different. Um, and uh, to my surprise, it's I like it. It's a really cool looking bow. Um, I didn't expect that. I mean, with the purple heart and and uh, the cool looking carbon fiber, I really like it. I think it's cool. So um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited about trying it out. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna keep an open mind and and uh, you know might might end up being my hunting bow next year. We'll see. Um, so that's it. I just wanted to address. Uh, Basically, the modern day narrative that I hear a lot is, um, well, with the new materials that came out in the last few, this is not what I'm saying, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm paraphrasing what I hear a lot. They say, that with the new materials that came out in the last few years, um, now you can shoot a bow that's much lighter in weight and still get the same performance. Now, I've been hearing this for, I, I don't know, they even hear it a lot now, and in my opinion, it's 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 in contrary to the old narrative, the old narrative that you know 25, 30 years ago when I was a kid, 
was always, you know, you got to shoot a heavy bow. You got to shoot a 70 pound bow, you know, 70, 80 pound bow. This is what, you know, the old timers always did. And that was the old narratives. And I never believed in that either. You know, I was growing up, my dad was a bowler and uh, he made bows and he always, he always explained to me that you don't need that. He always said, you only need a 50 pound bow, you know, 45 pound bow, 55 pound bow would kill anything, you know, and, and we're always deer hunting. So, and so he said, there's no reason for that. So I never believed that there was a reason to go with a heavy bow in the first place. So as you can imagine, when this new narrative came out of, oh, now you can shoot a 50-pound bow with this new materials, um, I just kind of see, seen it as marketing BS because I always knew that you can kill animals with a 50-pound bow anyways. So that that was always my assumption. But, um, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Maybe a little of both. But I'll keep you posted with the results of, um, of all my testing with it. Thanks for listening.